My mouse is on my screen. There we go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's time for the... Wait, hold on. Do I want to get anything before we go? Actually, no. I was thinking I wanted to get a red potion before we went to the temple, but no, I'm not going to buy a red potion. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to more of the Majora's Mask 3 Art Run. Today, it's time for Great Pain Temple. Well, it's Great Bay Temple, but you know, it's, it, it sucks. I hate it. <laughs> I'm not grabbing any items before we go in because we can just grab things when we get inside. I'm gonna grab a fairy though, because you never know. I already died to Garo Master, and War's kinda scary. Excuse me. There we go. But yeah, I died to Garo Master, and War's kinda scary. All with that, York can kinda kill me in two hits. Like it's nothing. Alright, we need the hook shot. We're gonna need the bow. And we're gonna need the Great Fairy's Mask. Like almost right away. We're also gonna need fire arrows, but we have arrow cycling, so that's okay. There we go, perfect. Don't lock on that. So we just need to play the new way Bossa Nova again. Wrong button. There you go. I almost forgot it. I literally like paused in my head for a second, thinking, "Wait, was this the song again?" At least this time we don't have to sit here and watch the cutscene because now he'll just. Do that. The open sea is a great prey of need of your mat. Quickly climb onto my back. Once again, I don't know why I'm giving him that voice, but you know, whatever. It is. But anyway, the first time we go to Great Bay Temple, we actually do see another cutscene right now. After the turtle starts moving away. Apparently, you can get to Great Bay Temple using ice arrows, but I've never tried it. But we don't have ice arrows yet, so it doesn't matter. We wouldn't even be able to do it, even if we could. But yeah, this cutscene, this thing. <laughs> we have these Gorilla Pirates trying to get to the temple, and then... <laughs> oh, I love that part. That part's always funny. I just wanted to make sure my desktop audio is on, just in case. I do actually copy my save file to the empty slot after every recording, so that way I don't have to redo things. Hey, right, welcome to Great Bay Temple! Fuck this place. Hardcore. Anyway, this first room, there's already a straight fairy in it. I have no DQ sticks, so we're gonna have to do this the old fashioned way. Right? Use fire arrows. So we need to light these torches. All four of them. Preferably, you would have DQ sticks for this, but we don't, so we're just gonna do it like that. And that will net us an item. Also, we're not supposed to have white arrows yet, so yeah, we are basically going to break this dungeon in half. First fairy is right there. Honestly, when it comes to this dungeon's fairies, I kind of do think that Great Bay Temple's great fairies are a bit more obnoxious to get than Stone Tower Temple's fairies, even though I didn't remember where a couple of them were. And it was kind of a pain that we had to re flip the tower once. But, you know, we, we did it. We got through. Okay, just right okay there's arrows. Bombs. There's more bombs. And more arrows. Alright. So, there's a reason why we want the Great Fairy's Mask coming up. And it's after we step into the first room right here. Whoa, that's a huge water wheel. Yeah, this is a thing that certainly exists. This is in Hyrule. Also, oh, we have to kill this skull to up here because he has a fairy. Boy. Wow. Okay. No. Fine. Hold on. I should 
see, there's one down here. We need to our link for this. But before we go back up, we actually do need to do something first. We need to pull this switch. And so we have fast block pushing. It goes by incredibly fast! Uh, I love fast block pushing. Alright, where am I? Wow, nice. Alright. That's all we need Zora for, for right now. Let's just get the ferry and be on our way. What I'm hoping to do is... Hopefully... Doing this dungeon won't take too extremely long to do. Because... If we have enough time in the cycle, we can easily go and do Woodfall Temple too. And possibly G group out there. And now, when we step into here, we have. Hmm, I get it. This huge water wheel is powering this thing. This giant fuckery here. Also, there's a fairy in here. Which we just hook shot to. If I can. Now, down the. There, at the very bottom of this room, you can see it there. There's a jar. In that jar is a stray fairy. Now, while you can go down there and try to hit with Zora Link, you can very easily just miss completely. Do that. And now the fairy will just come to us. Instead of us having to go to it. And meanwhile, we can just sit here and wait. Oh, he's already here. He's already here. Fairy! Fairy! No! Okay, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Come here. Thank you. Alright. We're already five down. And we've only gone through two rooms. So the next room we need to go through is here. Oh, we have these fish. Well, he did exist and now he's dead. Show me magic in here. No. We will be coming back to this room later, because there are things we need to do here. But for now, we can get ourselves this. The map, which will make our lives slightly easier. Okay, well, well we got the map, so off we go. Use your magic so you can get past those Dexy hands, and we're off to here, where we just do that. Alright. And now there's the last one, which all you gotta do is kill you. Wait, what? He actually lived! Two hits! Wow. I'm a little impressed. Okay, can I hook shot to that chest from here? No, it's too far. Okay. We gotta do it the long way. Or just do it like this. Alright. It's all we're already halfway through the first first day. Alright. That's fine. Oh! Oh actually! Hold your horses! Well, give me a moment up here. Okay. Once again, I really wish OBS had a pause recording feature, but it doesn't, so we have to do it like this. So anyway, this room is fun. We're going to show off the fun thing shortly, but we have other business to deal with. Namely, these guys. And this real bomb. We can get ourselves while wearing this fabulous mask. The compass! Alright, so first. Wait, I'm, I'm curious about something. What, what the hell? He's stuck in the chest! Can't kill him. But we can kill you. Oh, 
All right, we still need to kill that Dexy hand in order to get us down there. But down here, we hear music, and there are Dexy hands down here too. But in between these Dexy hands is a jar, and in this jar is a stray fairy. So be sure to get that jar. Now I just need to go down there and kill the Dexy hand. Cross like that. Oh, we didn't have to do anything. Don't show much how, how wrong I was, but we can at least get this key. All right, now, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's time for the fun thing. So, as you can see, there's still another chest in this room. That chest is over there, and it's the boss key. What we're supposed to do is have the ice arrows and go through there, fight Gecko, who is really annoying and will probably kill me very easily in order to get to the boss key chest. However, it is possible to get to that key without fighting Gecko and without having the ice arrows at all. I actually learned this from watching videos on YouTube because speedrunners actually do a far different trick nowadays. What we want to do is we want to hug this wall Run like this, and then, and then like that, we clip through the wall, completely skip the gecko fight, and then we can grab the boss key. I actually did first try, I was not expecting to get that first try, but yeah, you can literally skip the gecko fight like that. Just hug the wall, maybe pause once or twice, and then when Zorling hops up the ledge, take off the mask, and run towards that ledge as human, and then Shazam and Elam. You got it. So with that, we have the boss key, and we don't have to fight Gecko. So, now we just need the ice arrows, and then we're basically on track to clear out this dungeon. And getting the ice arrows is probably the hard part of this dungeon. Wait, this is the right one, right? Um, no, it's not. Um, I don't want to go back to the entrance. We're just going to go loop back around. This was the wrong way. I never claimed to be a genius with this dungeon. I actually really don't like Great Bay Temple that much. I mean, it's better than OT's Water Temple, that's for sure, because at least you don't have to constantly take off bronze stuff. Okay, it's down here, it's down here. This is the one. We wanna go here. Wind up with these guys. There are Octoroks in here, so be careful. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. I remember watching this stream once where someone actually hook shot the real bomb shoe. I'll probably play a clip if I can find it, but it was hilarious. Because I've been deep in the whole live rabbit hole since like the last year. Alright. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's time for like one of my least favorite mini bosses in the entire game. So work is actually incredibly scary with three hearts because we're probably gonna take lots of damage. That's why we have the great fairy sword. And that's why we also have bombs. So yeah, we're gonna use the big boy. Trying to do spin attacks with this thing is so awkward though. Oh, he, oh I said so he just I took a hit! I took two hits! Not even the first day. I literally didn't notice it. Ow! Oh god, bomb! No! I did not mean to do that! Where are my hearts? Ow! Um, hold on, Wart. I need some hearts. Thank you. Alright, back to it. Basically, the trick is just chuck bombs and spin the wind. 
You got close up. You can hit Wart, too. What am I doing? See, this is why the Great Fairy Sword being a C item is so goddamn awkward. It is, it is not fun to try and, and use it. Like that. Okay. Okay. Wait for him to. He's getting real close. Ow. Okay, I got him. Yo, I should probably put the bunny hood on, because it'll definitely make moving around easier. Alright, here we are. Yeah. No! What do you mean I missed him? Oh my god. Well, at the very least, I had no plans of doing the Oceanside Spider House this cycle. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Open up. No! There we go. Alright, now it's time for the easy part. Now he's gonna charge at us. This fucking sword is so awkward! Yo, fuck this! Kill the sword, go! All right, now it's just you and me, pal. Come here, come a little closer. Oh my god. Okay, you know what? Maybe we should actually just use regular arrows. Come on, open up. Uh, what's good? Like I have like four thirty arrows left. One hit. Oh shit. I'm pretty sure that explosion can hurt you. And for kill- Oh my gosh, I like bumped my desk. Well that wasted most of my magic. But at least as a reward for killing Wart, we obtained, at long last, far longer than it should have taken us to get it, the Ice Arrows! The Ice Arrows! Which are actually useful in this game, unlike Ocarina of Time. Now you can freeze enemies and objects. Try it everywhere. Okay. We have arrow cycling, so I don't even need to equip them, so. <laughs> and, and I feel like somewhere, someone is yelling at their screen, being like, oh my gosh! Oh, you're cheating because you're using arrow cycling, like, oh my gosh. And, and they're probably gonna treat it like I'm cheating because I shouldn't have arrow cycling because it's not in the vanilla game. Anyway, the purpose of our brand new. You, you, you. Come here. Come here. Come here. Where are you? He's under the thing. Okay, you know what? Fine, screw you. I'm just gonna ignore him. We don't need to worry about him. Ow! We do need to worry about this guy. Okay, hold on. Hold on. And it I literally hit him in the face! There we go! Three hits! Wow, that was pathetic. I literally shot him right between the eyes and it missed. Oh crap, ow. Alright, let's just push this. Or pull it, whatever. They mean the same thing. Alright, we are on track to finish this dungeon. Well, actually, you know, I could probably just go back to the entrance. Um, no, actually, let's take us back anyway. We have to go that way, so. So, first, 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 let's get some more magic. I said magic. I said magic. That's not magic. 
I'd like to get this done before, before, before halfway through the second day. Thank you. Alright. Okay, wow. 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 I, I know high directions. Here we are. We're out of here. So before we go back to the entrance, we are going to go up here and fail hardcore. We are going to go this way. Back into this room. And now that we have the ice arrows, there are fun things we can do. And those fun things are called... We can now go across this water using the ice arrows. Like so. I know speedrunners have some, like, yes trickery to get through this room very easily. Actually, I need some help. Oh, there's a straight fairy in here! Wow, I completely forgot about that one. But yeah, speedrunners have some kind of fuckery to get through this room like, like it's nothing. But I'm not a speedrunner. I just know a couple of, a couple of things. Ah, 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 I clipped through him! But yes, pretty much all I gotta do is... Um, excuse me? Excuse me! There you go. Push this. Alright, now let's go back to the entrance. There is one more thing we have to do before we start playing around with the water. But, warping back to the entrance, I feel, would be faster than going back to those two rooms again. And then, swimming all the way back up. So we're just gonna go back to this way. Because we have to come into this room anyway or something. Now that we've hit those two switches, the water flow is in here. Wait, do I have to look? Oh wait, yeah, there's one more. I think there's one more. Okay, wait, 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 I remember now, I remember now. We actually have to do something first before we play around with the water. Because, as you can see, water isn't flowing to everything yet. Wait, wait! Damn it, I was, I was talking about something else and then the platform. I literally wasn't paying attention to it. Alright, here we are. Hi! Bye. Wait for this to go down. What?! Wow. We are killing so much time. I mean, Woodfall Temple is going to be, like, free. Even if it takes me the entirety of the first day to do this dungeon. Like, with all the items we have, Woodfall Temple is literally just, like, broken. It's over. We finished it without even trying. Alright, so now what we want to do is we need to hit that right there. First, we need to get over there, so let's use our old shot. And... Completely break the entire thing! It's so much, so quiet now, without the freaking machine noises. Only for us to immediately start the machine noises back up. In reverse. You know, it really makes you wonder though, why the heck is all this stuff even in here? Apparently it's supposed to be some super special Zora place, and yet it's a freaking waterwork factory place. Well, all these, these freaking platforms and water puzzles. Like, what gives? It's not something you would expect from Zoras, but then again, the Gorons in Phantom Hourglass are supposed to be like quiz masters or something. But yeah, by doing that, we basically reverse the flow of everything in the 
these rooms. And by that I mean like this drum and you know what I mean. But what we're here for is use your ice arrows on this to freeze it. We actually do need to come in here and it's literally it's on the second day already. Awesome. Hi. Big fishy boy in here, so let's just instant kill him. So what we need to do is not wear the bunny hood for this, because we actually need timing with our jumps. Is to get over here. Okay, that one's a little far away. What? Never mind. We have time. Let's just bunny hunt it. Alright, we need to hit this now. It's actually very important that we do it. Because if we don't do it, we can't reach the boss. Now, creatures, plenty of these have magic. Oh, and yeah, you're gonna try and attack me. That's one way to do it. All right, please, magic. That's not magic, that's bombs. I might not even have enough for this now. That's arrows, not bombs! I might not have enough for this now. What we need to do is, I think this is the right one. Yes, this is the right one. Okay, so take this off. Whoa, wait, please. We need to get Line ourselves up so that we're under. Wow, what was that? Underneath there. And I may have just screwed this up hardcore. I need to hurry, hurry, hurry. What is this? Are we there? This is kind of probably one of the worst fairies in the dungeon. Uh -oh. Shit. I think I'm out of magic. I'm out of magic! <laughs> Damn it! This is why I don't like this room! Maybe I should have bought a green potion before coming in here. Watch there be no magic drops at all, because now we have to do this the hard way. Magic our way. Ice arrows our way all the way back over there. Because I already destroyed all the boxes. Okay, that's more magic. That should be enough. Alright, hold on. We can always just leave them and come back, though. You know what? Yeah, let's leave them and come back. Then. Not to do it to you again. And then we get this. Wait, this. Oh, Big Hank's back. You know what? Real quick, let me just murder you real quick. Just get some more water. <laughs> I love how overpowered the, the light arrows are. They just instant kill things, and he's still like dying over there. Wait, wait! We don't have time for your shenanigans. Kind of want to get DQ Butler race done before final hours. Are we there? Uh, you know, here. Uh, eh. Really? I'm still not there? And... Kazam! There we go! And what did we get for going through this trial of pain? Yes. It's right of course, because why not? Alright, wait. 
fuck? Get down there. Alright. Now that we've dealt with that hot mess, we can finally... What the hell is that? <laughs> okay. Now that we've dealt with that hot mess, we can finally finish the damn dungeon. We have to go this way. This will take us right back to that room with the Dexy hands. Into... This cavalcade of fuckery! So, in the Japanese version of this game, I found out, once again, from watching streams, that this room is actually a bit different in the Japanese version. Well, once we get to the puzzle. So in this room, we have this giant mess here with this thing moving around that'll take us to there and this thing moving around and that moving around. There are two straight fairies in this room. And we need to hit this with ice arrows to turn it off. Oh. Um, well, damn it. Okay, yeah, I, I screwed this up. We have to, we have to turn it off and turn it back on. So I turn it back on, she's with fire us. We actually have to be on the platform when it's in the air, then use the ice arrows. So that way we're not stranded down here. When it's time for. There we go. But yeah, in the JP version, timing is required for this stupid part. Okay, where is the. It's all the way over there. Oh, God. Luckily, we don't need the platform. We can see the chest right there. We just need the hook shot to it. Okay, hold on. Hold on. There is a solution to this. I'm on here. And then hook shot to the chest. I said hook shot to the chest. Just like that. That's playing with power. And now there's one down there. We can't reach it from here. We can't reach it from here. So that's typically what the platform is for. Don't you dare fall! But yeah, that's typically what the platform is for. But we can, I think this is an alt strat here. We'll just come down here like this and then hook shot to it. Yeah, we can hook shot to this torch. Only problem is we're gonna have to come back and wait for the platform again. This is why I said this dungeon strays are obnoxious. Because of this stupid I can't even. Wow, I wasted the arrow anyway. Thanks. Uh oh. Hi. 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 Ow. No, I should switch. Oh, God. He's still coming. Hi. Round three. Right. No. Shit. Damn it. I guess that's the beauty of having double magic. I can waste arrows if I accidentally if I need to switch. Right, this should be good right here. Alright. Eh. Alright, we're good. We're out of here. Fuck this room. Alright, there we are. We're out. All right. Now it's time for this one. Oh. <laughs> that just happened. 
Well, it's like I'm trying to die now. Jeez, I never knew. I literally wanted to punish myself. All right, here we go. Down here is a fairy. We got our hearts back, too. Wait a minute. Oh, wait, never mind. I know where the last two are. Okay. So now that we've done that, this puzzle is not that bad. What we need to do is... We need to hit this with a fire arrow. Wait, no. We weren't supposed to do that yet. We'll have to fix it. Like this. Okay, now, for real. What you do is use fire arrow here. Jump to the ear, and then use a the fire arrow here. So that way we can get up here. Other way. And now, don't climb all over it, like. Alright, now I just need to avoid you. No. Shit. Wow. You're supposed to be able to climb this. There we go. And right over here. It's chest. And this chest is me missing because aim, aim is difficult, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Is fair number 13. So now we have that, we can get out of here. Also, you need to shut up and die. So all I do is. At this, and it'll take us right up to the store. All right, we're out. We are basically done with this dungeon now. We already have the boss key, because we want to fight Gecko. And this will just take us back to this room that we've visited like three times already. By going through here, it'll take us right back to Circular Hell, in which we go down to the bottommost path in Circular Hell that we have not visited. So before we go, up top, where the boss door is. We want to come down here. Where there's money, rupees. Well, money and rupees are the same thing. Magic power. But there's also this fairy here. What we want to do is use our almighty boomerangs in order to fail hardcore because I suck at aiming to pop the balloon. The bubble. Oh my god, I know what words are. So. <laughs> I totally know what words are. Then once we do that, get out of the water here, and pop this bubble with an arrow, or use the hook shot, use your preferred item, and then just use Great Fairy's Mask and grab them both. And just like that, you will have collected all 15 of Great Fairy Temple's Stray Fairies. It's not that bad, but I still think this dungeon is ever so slightly worse than Stone Tower Temple with its fairy. So now we can go claim our reward, which means Great Fairy Voice. Oh boy, I know how people love Great Fairy Voice. And now that we've dealt with all the water puzzles, it's time for the grand finale. The worst part of this dungeon, indefinitely, the boss fight. So I'm going to switch my light arrows and immediately waste one. Because it's time for fun, ladies and gentlemen. As soon as we come in here and fall out of this hole. Why does this feel a lot like Bongo Bongo?
gargantuan masked fist skjorg and he can actually kill us in like two hits so here's the strategy here that we're going to use take advantage of your bow don't even don't even try going on the water after him if you're doing a three heart run because if he eats you he'll kill you in two hits i am not joking you i actually did a test run before i even started doing this three heart run to see how bad Georg would be and he kills you in two hits yeah, we could just go and get the reward from the Great Fairy, but... Dude, anyway, we're already in the boss room, so let's not even bother. So how do we win this fight? Hit him with an arrow, and then the only way to actually damage him is to go in the water... Don't stay in the water. Don't stay in the water. Shit! Shit! Damn it! No! 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 Ow! I'm dead. I'm dead. I am like a million times dead. Holy shit! Okay. Where is he? He's over there. He's gonna try and knock us into the water. Because of course he is. Okay. What? He actually killed me! <laughs> Are you kidding me? How did he kill me? Uh oh. Oh, he almost got me! I apologize for shouting like that, but how did he kill me? Don't tell me he fu he has contact damage, doesn't he? Oh, he fucking has contact damage! God damn it, York! Now I basically have to do a no death run. Oh. Where? We probably should be using regular arrows for this and not light arrows. Alright, when he's halfway dead, he's gonna summon little other fish. And they probably give you hearts or something. Oh crap. I'm. I'm. I'm mashing my R button. So, um, this is a situation. Okay, I heart. Okay, I'm not dead. <laughs> Okay. 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 Okay, don't, 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 don't. You're... Okay, we hit him. He's not! Fuck! Right off, you stupid fucking bitch! Girls, so we have to finish the rest of the game without dying one time, or else I get to face punishment time. Oh, goody me! Oh, I hate this so much now. I knew something was gonna happen against Georg, but I didn't know fucking contact damage was a thing in this fight. And there are no, there are no hearts down here. The only hearts I got in this fight were from those fish I, that just like died. Fortunately, the timer stops when a boss is dead, so we can waste time collecting more magic. What? I feel like there's... Hold on. Why is it... It feels like there's a weird input play for me. I almost got that heart. Okay. 
We're out of here. Yards remains! One more to go! And it's gonna be easy, I hope. I want you to lend us your power. If you just leave things as they are, something terrible will happen in this world. Surely you're the only ones who can stop it. That's what Tail was trying to tell us. Help. Our. Friend. I get it. We just got the last one. Then promise us this, you'll cooperate with us. You know what else needs to cooperate with me? The sweet, sweet embrace of not die. Now walking continue rested in peace. I too must abide by the law, by the laws of ancient times and again merely watch from my deep slumber. But the evil that haunts this land has not completely vanished, Link. I shall depart after enjoying Lulu's voice a bit longer. I think the gods keep permitting that. <laughs> Fuck you, turtle. Fuck you, turtle. All right. All right, we never actually came in here. This is our hall. Gaze upon it, because we're not gonna be here very long. We're here for the aftermath of finishing this dungeon, which is put on the old Zora mask and go talk to Lulu. Mikao, you came back safely. That's good. I was surprised when my voice turned that lonely island into a turtle. But that song you played for me, my mother used to sing it often, long ago. Those eggs were laid to remind me of that. That song was from when I was a very young child, so I had forgotten it. I put you through some horrible experiences, Mikao. Yeah, I mean, he's dead. But I'm all better now. Well, the town concert is very soon. Let's start a rehearsal. That was nice. Let's go get a reward before I want to, like, explode with rage. <laughs> but yeah, the, you, you want to know the way. Actually, hold on, hold on, hold on. We, we can actually... We can actually just go from Zora Hall. From Zora Cave, over to where the Great Fairy is. What am I thinking? I'm the dummy. We'll literally do it the same way we got in. Like this. Pretty sure the, the water's fine now, but... But there's still fish trying to murder you. And likewise, swinging around. So, basically nothing's changed. Ow! But yeah, basically nothing's changed about Great Bay. Everything's still the same. The only problem that's different is the water's not murky anymore. Also, they grow on big around here! Wait, camera, 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 camera. But yeah, they grow on big around here, boys. But yeah. So all that remains is woodfall to- wait, no, this is the wrong mess. So in order to get to the Great Fairy, we actually do need the hookshot, and we also do need bombs to get in. So, you know, we're gonna... I mean, theoretically, once we get this reward, I shouldn't need to worry nearly as much about my health, but, you know, I'm gonna be now ultra paranoid, because if I die again, I get to play and or do some kind of ridiculous thing that I'm going to hate greatly, and people will laugh at me for it, and or 
savor my torment and pain, just like the Fire Emblem Binding Boy death montage. And the other death montage. And the Sacred Stones one that doesn't exist because there weren't that many deaths in it, so yeah, I didn't make one. Yeah. Anyway. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, mute if you don't like the Great Fairy Voice, because it's about time for Great Fairy Voice. For the third time. My throat hurts. <laughs> oh, courageous young one! I am the Great Fairy of Courage! Thank you for returning my broken and shattered body to normal! As thanks, I shall lend you my strength! We now have double defense! Enemies now do half as much damage as before, which would have been useful five minutes ago, but unfortunately, I was too stubborn! Come save me whenever you overcome my weirdness! And Link actually waves now, I like that. That's a nice detail. Anyway. You know, I could have went and gotten this beforehand, but I decided, no, it would be a waste of time. Now I have to do a basically a perfect run. <laughs> I hate myself sometimes. But now that we have double defense, I feel we have the time. We should be able to clear out Woodfall Temple before... Well, actually, here's the problem. If I were to go do Woodfall Temple now, we probably wouldn't have time to finish. What well, we would be able to do Woodfall Temple, easily. But we wouldn't be able to do Deku Butler because it would take way too much time to do that and Deku Butler. So what I think we're going to do is, next time, we are going to do the Bombers and the training sequence with the Business Scrubs. You know, just to fill out our tracker some more. So we're not going to be doing any dungeon stuff. We're just going to be doing Terminal Real Estate. So next time, Terminal Real Estate and Bombers. So, yeah, I'm going to go save off screen. And next time, we'll do that. So thanks for watching. I apologize for destroying people's ears with my shouting. And I'll see you next time.